Hey there, it's Uncle Laurie here, back for another shave. It's been a, a few days since I've last had a video. I think it's 12, something like that anyway. Um, yeah, I've got been a bit busy just before Christmas here. A few things to do. So, um, we're doing one today though. Today's uh, December the 24th, so Christmas Eve. So this is a, even though it's a morning, Christmas Eve shave, we'll call it. Um, so a Merry Christmas to everyone. And what are we going with? Well, we're going with my Kill Soap. I've been using for, oh, probably nearly six months, I think. I started in July sometime. It was a, a full tub of um, this Tobbs, the, Tops Platinum. It's got a shiny top so it doesn't come over the camera very well. As you can see, I've only got a little bit left. Probably three shaves. And I've got one in the, the bowl already, ready to go. It's a lovely scent, the Platinum. Very uh, traditional. And I'm going with the Foucault Shaving Triffid. I call it the Triffid because of this pattern I see on the side there. Reminds me of a Triffid. Have you seen the Day of the Triffids? I'll put it up like that. You can see it. it's got that sort of Triffid look to it with their feet and that. That's why I call it the Triffid. And it's got a um, uh, cashmere knot in there, 26 mil. I think it's a, um, a Yankee one, I'm not sure. Uh, the razor we're using is a Yankee tile, sort of a stainless steel Henson look-alike. And I've got a blade, uh, what blade we've got in there? Silver Blue, Gillette Silver Blue, that's right. The Gillette Silver Blue, the last one, the last one out of this tuck. On its uh, third shave. So we just stick my brush in the Uncle Laurie's Super Soaker. Not that you need to soak a synthetic brush. And we'll go across in that uh, Get the leather done. All right, as you can see, I've got a bit of a scoop of cream uh, spoon there. I'll just squeeze out and shake out my brush. And I just push it off the, the spoon or scoop. And start lathering. As you can see, cream doesn't take long to get going. Uh, I'll just get my syringe with some water in it. Put 15 mil, 15 mil of water in there. It won't be more than 15 mil. We'll try. We'll start with three mil. Nicely, put another three. Three is about half a teaspoon. Starting to look pretty good. I reckon just another three should do it. So 12 mil all together. I 
Let's see. Actually, you could do it a little bit more. I'll make it 15. Yeah, that's better. See that nice flop on the another? Lovely shine on it. Beautiful. We're going with that. Okay, back from making that lovely leather. Beautiful leather. Nice and shiny. It's got a few big bubbles, but you don't worry about them. When you put it on the face, they dissipate. Right, I've already put the pre-shave on, as you can probably see. Still using the Lucky Tiger Liquid Shave Cream. There's not a lot left. Maybe another month's worth. So, I'll go ahead and uh, put this lovely leather on. You're probably wondering where I use a kill soap, or when I use a kill soap. I don't normally video my kill, oh, kill soap, soap shaves that often. I normally do one every month, something like that, just to show what soap I'm using for my kill soap. So what I do, normally do is do um, two videos a week, one on Wednesday and one on Sunday, using scheduled products, Wednesdays for Australian products. And um, Sundays for foreign products, or non-Australian products. Okay, that's, that's lovely. I love the um, cashmere knot, it's a lovely soft knot. Soft knots are probably not for everyone. I'll just put a little bit of alum on my fingers after playing with the soap. As you can see, it's a stainless steel head, this yaki head, but it, it's only got a machine finish, so I find it, it tends to drag a little bit. Across the skin, but not, not too bad. Just doing a light touch. Now there's no blade overhang, so I can go close as close to the ears as I want. But the drag is definitely noticeable. Just feel a touch of blade. This is more efficient than the um, handsome mild. So it's up on the aggression a bit. Probably more closer to the Henson Mild or Henson Plus Plus. I would think. If I don't have one, I can't tell you for sure. But I had a Henson Mild and it's definitely more efficient than that. That's lovely first pass. Just re the face a bit. Some more of that lovely leather.
what happened on this day? Well, I was going to do this shave last night, but I was feeling a bit unwell, so I didn't do a shave. Bit of an after effect from getting a couple of shots on Thursday. Not COVID. Other ones. I think one was for pneumonia. One for shingles. The shingle one was a bit um, hard on the body. So what happened this day? Well, because I was going to do it yesterday, the research I have is for yesterday. On the 23rd of uh, 1947, 23rd of December, the first uh, demonstration of a transistor was performed by Walter H. Brayton and John Barbon to their higher-ups at Bell Laboratories. the grain or did I nick my little bump there? Got a bit of a wart there. Then you may say, what transistor? So what? Well, everything today, mobile, smartphones, Radios, fridges, white goods have transistors in, in them. Well, not transistors as such, but in the form of integrated circuits where you have multiple transistors. So the invention of the transist transistor was a very important invention I'll just show the picture what the first uh, transistor looked like or the, dem the demonstration one so that's just a single transistor In a modern um, CPU, in say mobile phone, or even your computer from Intel, say, uh, they would have probably 50 billion transistors in them. It just shows you <laughs> the miniaturization they have these days. see any blood, I might, might have just touched it. Soap feels really nice, it's doing a wonderful job. Tops always performs very well for me as far as slickness is concerned. It can dry out a bit on the post oh. or oh, residual as you call it it can but it's pretty feeling pretty good now residual there. Sometimes it can dry out. I'm keeping it well moistened. I find that with most creams. have a tendency to dry out on the residual. But there's still the soap is still there. You just gotta have a wet fingers and and uh, wipe it over your face. 
to reactivate the residual. The soap is there, it just it dries out. I'll just be a bit quiet while I go over the top lip. Keep the hairs away from that top lip there. Well, that's lovely. Like I said, if you just wet your hand, there's absolutely plenty of residual there. So I just need a few touch ups in my normal areas, so right under the jaw. Maybe a touch up up there. glasses off while I do under the glass area. Pimple or something just there. Yeah, yeah I might have knocked the top off. Artisans, you don't know what to use. 
Okay. Tops would be fine. It'll get a good job. Does a good job and a good range of scents. Rinse off. Just warm water. Rinsing most of the soap off. You don't need a, don't need a full rinse because I'm having a, a shower after my shave. Before I do the post shave. So we'll just do an alum check so a bit of a tingle on that bump. About a one. Small tingles here and there. One two on just that spot there two out of ten what do you call it pain all right very happy with that so I'll go and have my shower and come back see you shortly from the shower, lovely, beautiful. Like I said, just knocked off a bit of a bump there, and there's another bump here as well. Eh, that's not to worry. There are probably a couple of little environments. So we're starting off with a bit of witch hazel. Menthol and tea tree oil. I got no, 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 a touch of peppermint as well. Lovely. Put some on the head too. Oh, uh, and then we'll follow that up with a bit of the Aussie Natio for men calming aftershave balm. Don't need much, just a little bit. Okay, I'll put some on the head. Around the eyes. That's nice. And final ingredient. We're going with the Imperial Leather Classic. Love this stuff. I normally have a couple of bottles in reserve. Pick up an on special. Oh, lovely. Very classic scent for me. Lovely. In my hair as well. That's lovely. That's my shave for today. So everyone have a, a wonderful Christmas with your families and friends and I'll see you in the new year. Well actually I might see you on Christmas Day tomorrow with a shave. We'll see how we go. Anyway, cheers!